Well, it is one hour and twelve minutes into the twenty-fifth day of uh, July, and um, I've got uh, YouTube stroll uh, queued up. Uh, it's been a mixed day. Uh, things went all right. Um, watching a lot of LeBron, my meditation kind of has kind of has fallen off. It just shifted a little bit today. Uh, It's, it, uh, it's, I swing in and out of this feeling that, that, that things are moving so slow that it's barely moving at all. Uh, even though there have been good successes, I've been able to ride in the rain. It did, so you get a, you know, you get a rain vlog today, at least partial, partial rain vlog. But, uh, the work on the storage system and the upgrade to the network took so long that I'm now a week to two weeks behind in my uh, my editing for the vlog. Vlogs, filming, there's no issue. Editing and posting is an issue. So, uh, anyways, that's where we are. Uh, Lionel, in many ways, is lamenting what's happening. A lot of people are privately, but they're too afraid to say anything publicly. So. It's a game of sort of wait and see what happens. And so, that's the way it goes. Uh, I mean, it's kind of a lot like my research. You, you get up every day, you do the research, you go back to bed. When you're tired and you do more research when you're sleeping, because I'm a lucid dreamer, so it continues while I'm asleep. Those dreams have been kind of interesting. Uh it, 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 it reflects my current state of mind, actually, in some cases, because uh, just as I'm confused when I'm awake in terms of where things are going with the overall direction, uh, feeling like uh, things have become stagnated. stagnated. Uh, uh, the only way I can describe it in terms of is imagine a very hot, mo hot, humid day when nothing is moving. Uh, that's kind of where I am in terms of my mood. Uh, but it hasn't been bad. This summer, in terms of my place, in terms of the functionality, normally, without the air system that I put in, uh, uh, and I finished it by July, uh, normally the air system, the temperature in here would have been 90, uh, 90 95, up to 100 degrees. Uh, now it's topping out at 82 degrees, so, uh, can't complain about that, uh, so that was successful, that was a successful project, um, got the new network, the network expanded, so where I go out and do my observation, I now have full Wi-Fi connectivity, so I have, I can stay connected to the network, even though I'm out doing my observational work, I can still do the, uh, research, do, still be connected to the network and do the work that I need to get done in, ter in terms of offloading, downloading, editing, uh, uh, and, then, and then posting uh, various different videos. So I can do that while I'm sitting outside doing observational work. Uh, couldn't do that before, now I can. So, so now it's a matter of sort of improving and upgrading the office uh, that's portable so that when I go out and do the research and the observation, I can sort of bring that office with me and and do the editing work that needs to get done, but that seems to be okay. So, uh, I'm going to leave this here for now, and I will see you in the next transition period. I uh, was well, a day off in my day. Today is July 26, 2021. It is just about two hours into the day. And we are partially through our uh, YouTube stroll. Uh, we are on the subpath of Femi Five Vlogs. We're at the McNeil family. And uh, we're just there now. And things are starting to get back to somewhat normal. The, the impasse, what I call dead water, seems to be over. But now I have to sort of clean up from the damage. <laughs> uh, dead water is when you basically stop moving. Uh, and it's just because you don't have a direction, so the best thing to do is just simply stop. 
and wait for a direction to come up. And that's it, it's actually some of the worst periods in your in your time, even though you don't because you really don't have anything to do and and you don't know what to do next because you don't really have a direction. Even though all the direct the directions you go in are not necessarily finite, they're not they don't have an end to them. At least some, at least in some cases, you have some idea of where you're going. Uh, but when you're in dead water, this is a sailing term. This is for the for this is an old sailing term actually. I wasn't around at the time, but it's a good analogy. I did a uh, a, a game, uh, one of these nerd game simulators. Uh, that you had you had to have uh, uh, an old Thai navy where everything was done by sails, and uh, I learned a lot about uh, sort of naval combat at the time. And there was one point. There's one point in uh, the approach to to North America to the Americas that uh, you have good wind coming into it, but once you're into it. Is known as the once you're into it, it's known as the Sargasso Sea. Uh, there is no wind; the wind just simply dies off, and it takes a while for the wind to come. Again. It can take a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a month uh, before you're back on the way. Again. And, and that in that dead water, you you you're floating, and it's nerve wracking because you don't know when things are going to pick up again. Particularly if this is your first time in the environment, and so what happens if you're doing an exploration and you get into dead water, and you have really don't have a good grasp of where you are, it's a terrifying situation because you don't know whether or not this is the end, or, or, or are you going to survive this, or how long is this going to take, and there is a sort of, we, we want to be doing things on a regular basis to give us the impression that we're moving forward. And I say give us the impression because if you're on the path of infinite knowledge, it doesn't matter how much you move forward, you're still infinitely far away. So, you know, it's, this is why I end up in middle school all the time. But this is difficult for people to really sort of get, get a grasp of. And this is what's happening with Lionel LeBron. Is he, you, you see him faltering, you see him meran, uh, meandering, sort of try, trying to figure out what is next, where is the next direction. And it's hard to say what the next direction should be because you don't necessarily know. You try different things out, but if one thing doesn't work, you go to something else. Uh, in other words, you have different leads in the water. You have uh, different uh, leads out there so that if one thing doesn't pan out, maybe you have four or five others that might provide an option. Uh, But then you may not have any options at all after after all your all your options may fail all the different leads you may have may fail. Uh, but then, then then what happens after that is you know and this is how why you have sort of understand success. And the thing is, a lot of times the successes don't necessarily come as anticipated. Like I was watching Lionel again today, and he's. Doing his own little thing, he, he's he's struggling. He is literally he is struggling. His world of intellect of intellect is collapsing, and of course, when you're in the postmodern era, that the, there is no intellect because everything is simply a concept. Everything is a dream, and it doesn't matter what path you go. Whether you go down the intellectual path or you go down the gnosis path, uh, they're all talking about the world as a delusion. The world is a dream. The, the world is nothing more than a hologram. And so there really isn't any right or wrong, it's just you live your life in in, in sort of la-la land. Because nothing is real. Well, how do you present an argument against that? If, if, if they're in the position where they say nothing is real, that's something very difficult to wrap your head around and, 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 and because it's not logical. It's not something that we would say, or say that is logical. And this is where it actually becomes not gnosis, but antinosis. But where it's, 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 it's instead of knowledge, you have this, and it's not even meta knowledge, but where it's beyond knowledge. It's simply anti knowledge, because it doesn't, it, it doesn't, it doesn't 
present itself as any degree of knowledge because it, there is no standard for this. And getting one of my other tablets back up and running again. I have, as I said, I have a number of leads. I have a number of options to go down. I don't leave myself just with one path. I have multiple paths I can take. And so, while I'm waiting for something to occur, and this is what happens with observations. Sometimes observations will go, do good one or one or two days. They'll have good observations, and then it could be another two weeks, three weeks before you have anything good. But if you, if, if if your product is long term, like over a decade, then that's par for the course. So what do you do when there is dead days, where you're doing your observation work and there's nothing left to do? Well, you bring in other projects. This is why I have do YouTube. This is why I do a lot of different things. Is because there is a lot of dead time between projects. Uh, so, anyways, I think I'm going to leave this here for now, as my uh, tablet begins to sort of update itself and come alive. It's been off for a while. It's been off for actually. It's been off for a month. It went down. I took it. I took it down around July first when I went up to. Uh, my uh, my uh, research facility at Profit in the village of Prophet Elias. I'm going up again uh, on Thursday, so uh, uh, we'll be vlogging from there. Uh, I'm trying out a it's uh, trying out a new network service, uh, new new um, communication system, and we'll see how that ends up working out. You know, things will be done. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> bit by bit. So, uh, anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave this here for now because I can get back to uh, my TV watching, my uh, vlogs, and go from there. Well, it is uh, 16 hours and 27 minutes into the 26th day of July. It sounds like I'm repeating myself, but I was off a day in... Uh, not the previous segment, the previous, but the one before it. Um, <laughs> I think I missed the 25th of uh, July. Anyways, we're here early uh, uh, doing a YouTube show. Rather than being at my parents or on the road. Uh, I'm waiting for a package. Uh, so, uh, until that comes in, I'm uh, here. I'm going to start the uh, YouTube stroll. Uh, and then move from there on out. So, anyways, uh, that's uh, where we are now. And see you in the next transition period. Uh, well, it is finally the 27th of July. It's uh, one hour and 43 minutes into the day. And, uh, well, we're at uh, the McNeil family. I've been going through the YouTube YouTube, YouTube stroll uh, from about one o'clock. Did some gaming. Sat outside. I was able to extend my network, my Wi-Fi network, so that it's now outside uh, where I sit and do my observation, uh, so I can do other work while I'm doing the observation. Because the observation does take a bit of time. There, there is, there are significant gaps in many cases uh, between events that you want to note. So. Uh, in between uh, that time of of events, uh, you pull out your phone or get or device or whatever you want to do, and you get some work done. And that's kind of what I did out, th did out there. I looked up and sort of checked out my Instagram, checked up uh, uh, Twitter, checked uh, checked up on uh, TikTok, uh, and uh, expanded into Line and We and WeChat. Uh, did some fixing up there as well. Uh, I'm going to have to do a lot of that sort of min minimal work because I can't do the heavy data transfers uh, when I'm up in my new tra uh, up at the trailer uh, up in the village, the village of Prophet Elias. Uh, I won't be able to do the heavy data transfers there. It just uh, it's too much. It's too much for the network. So and the cost. It's, it's, it's the expense. It's the, the network itself could handle it. It's just the cost. Uh, so uh, um going to do what I typically do and just do the uh, um, the the you know Instagram stuff like that just do but just the bare necessity so uh, 
that's coming up and actually just uh, two days, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Because we're already into Tuesday, so it's uh, Wednesday and Thursday. I leave on Thursday. So, uh, uh, got to prepare for that. Let's see how that transit goes. That, that's a much larger transit than, uh, than we're talking about here. So, that could be an issue. So, got my, I have my iced tea. And I have more iced tea uh, brewing. Uh, because that's that's one of the things I drink up there is my iced tea. So I, bring, I have uh, to bring. I'm hoping to bring two bottles of iced tea up there. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening. So, uh, anyways, uh, onwards and upwards, I guess. Uh, well, days are always unusual, and uh, it's one sixteen. It's one hour and 16 minutes into the 28th day of July. Uh, back to school is going to begin uh, shortly, within a couple of days. Uh, I'm getting my editing straightened out. I'm also getting more views, uh, uh, even though uh, YouTube isn't counting them. But I know uh, from some of the responses I'm getting on Instagram that my views are increasing. So, uh, good thing. Uh, happy for that. Happy for all the viewers. Uh, if you are going to be, end up watching this, and this is going to be a little bit, we're uh, now a month and a half behind uh, on our vlogs in terms of the editing. So when you're watching this, it's going to be a little late, but anyways, uh, I am going to answer the questions in as much detail as I can uh, in the video. So uh, as I said, I've, there was one guy I called, uh, 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 I called Mifto or something like that, or uh, I can't, can't remember what his, what his call it. It was after a demon called Mistopheles. And he gave himself a shortened name uh, along those lines. And uh, he asked me why do I put Hegel or other things in the description that are not necessarily in the vlog themselves. Because if the topic I'm talking about is related to that, and Hegel is in the line of research, same thing with Lionel LeBron, then I'm even though I don't say th something specific about it, there is a lead into the these people are leads in are a lead into uh, some of the the area that we're talking about in terms of putting the puzzle together. In other words, it, it, Lyle LeBron isn't the focus. He is simply now he's the edge piece. He's one of the edges of the puzzle. Same thing with Hegel. Same thing with uh, Newton, Planck, Leibniz. Uh, Voltaire is in there as well. He's one of the uh, one of the the, the edges. Does this this isn't a single flattened uh, two dimensional uh, puzzle. This is three dimensions and, and, and beyond, if you will. Uh, so you have a lot of different edges because there is no real final edge. Things interconnect. They sort of inter. Uh, and they're the sort of you can use cross referencing, cross indexing, and, and they are interconnected. But the thing is, you have to figure out how they connect and how they interconnect and that's where uh, some of the deep some of the difficulties come in because things are not always apparent I mean I was talking to uh, I was talking on the vlog today on the, our ride vlog my mu mouth is getting a little dry so let me get a sip of my iced tea uh, much better um, talking about a petty officer that was put up uh, to this, I think, it was the California Club or something like that. It's a speaking. It was a speaking engagement. He was a petty officer. Petty officer. I went and looked up the definition because I'm pretty sure what it was. I knew it wasn't a real officer. It was some, something, somebody uh, below, given a sort of. It's an honorary rank. It's not necessarily a real rank <laughs> in terms of the military. Uh, talking about how he was a CIA operative. Well, there aren't CIA operatives that have the that are that are enlisted men, and this guy wasn't even enlisted. He didn't make the cut as enlisted. So, what type of CIA officer he was, no one really knows, because he doesn't have a rank. I mean, he he could have been a colonel. He could have been, you know, the the, the large chunk of the officers are colonels. They're Captains, they're, they're majors. They're in terms of the uh, ranking of of where they are. So you have to. It, it, it's the CIA. 
will use military officers and they will have a ranking. It's not going to be a petty officer. So how they introduced this guy as a CIA operative to convince people, a whole group of people, that that Donald Trump was a spy for Putin, and he was a Russian spy. This was during the Mueller investigation. Uh, the way they did it is they opened up with a massage. They said, oh, the guy comes out, oh, I'm glad to be here. I'm finally in a room full of adults that I can speak to. In other words, the other people that he talked to, that, that were sort of Republicans or whatever, or, oh, these are all children. They don't understand. You know, I know because I was an officer, but he really wasn't an officer. Uh, but they, this was the fiction. To get the fiction across, uh, he massaged the audience. And once the, uh, uh, once the audience accepted the massage as that they were grown adults and they're having an adult, a grown adult and they're having a, an adult conversation, uh, well, there you go. They, they opened up, they listened to everything he had to say, and they swallowed hook, line, and sinker. I mean, this is what Lionel LeBron does. He t why doesn't he have his comments on? Because people are children, and they'll leave nasty comments in in uh, in, in in the comments, right? Things that aren't inappropriate. But well, I have my comments on why? Because I leave my comments in such a manner that the comments that are viewed to be inappropriate are automatically removed. So, I, so generally, comments will go through on my on my on my. On my videos, my vlogs, uh, but the ones that are viewed to be inappropriate are held back. I'll read them, and if I don't think they should be posted, I won't post them. But I will answer the question uh, in the vlog. <laughs> so some of the stuff you may not see, but I will post uh, in the vlog. I will comment in the vlog about the post, whether it's seen or not. And so the conversation between uh, between the people in the comments and here will continue on. Anyways, uh, I think that's about it for now, and uh, we will continue forward. Well, it is four hours and 18 minutes into the 29th day of July, and we're counting down the hours before we leave. Uh, the next uh, uh, transition point you will see will be in uh, my trailer. Uh, in my new in my uh, place up uh, up north in the village of Prophet Elias, I'm going to be trying out the uh, uh, sort of the the data system up there. It's a, it's going to be a, there's going to be a festival up there, but at the same time that I'm also testing the data, uh, I want to see how um, the uh, view from below the satellite uh, matches up with way of the way of uh, peg the. Uh, the latitude and longitude, so uh, we'll be able to do uh, option va observation up there. Basically, the office is my personal part of the office is very tiny, but the property itself is very large. It's more than 200 acres of wilderness, so uh, you do get to do a lot of uh, of. I'm not saying. Let's redefine this here. Environmental is not what most people think it is. Environment is simply studying the environment around you, whether it's woods, lakes, whatever. Even in the city, there, there, there is wildlife. There's a whole environment around you. So it's not about being environmental as in terms of the philosophy, in terms of the politics. This is the science. Uh, and it all comes from the perspective of physics. Every, everything... All scientists have a physics to it, they, because every science has a nature to it. Uh, and any, anytime you study nature, you're studying physics. That's, you're getting into the mechanism. You're getting into uh, how things actually work. Why is something the way it is? That's physics. That's getting into the nature of that existence. So uh, that's what I'll be doing. Uh, I'm leaving around noon, one o'clock in the afternoon. So. I'm going to go uh, do the gaming now and uh, just a little bit of meditation so it will take me till 5 o'clock in the morning. And um, I've eaten already. I, I, when I travel, I can't eat. Uh, so I've done the eating. The system is digested. And uh, in a few hours, I'll be heading out. So I think I'm going to leave that here for now. I will see you in the trailer tonight.